Uh, are you recording? A little bit. Why don't you just start? Just like say my name. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wait, do you want me to say like my name? Should I just talk? Like I have most in common with Diane from the show because she's so, there's all this stuff going on and she's like, oh, I don't know what's happening and that's kind of me in real life. I'm like, there are parties happening at school, what? Oh, uh, we both relate to Nadia the most because when I was in high school, I always felt like I never had the right look. Character. Yes, I agree with that. Um, I was often put in ensemble in my high school productions and I felt oftentimes that was because of the way I looked, not for any other reason. I feel Nadia strongly feels that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm the most like Matt because I'm a very caring person and I'm there for people, but I don't quite get the recognition I deserve. Friend zone. Population me. Um, I really do my own character. I don't party, and she doesn't party. She doesn't even know. I mean, she does, but she doesn't know that I do. Um, I don't party. She doesn't know that there are drugs. She thinks it's cool, cool, and and I feel like that would be me. Or to be like trolling everybody, making sure everybody's okay. I think I associate with Sister Chantel most importantly. It's probably because like when I have a friend that you need and like they need to know that like they're like Sister Chantel in the story really helps Peter like be, love himself more and I feel like I've helped people with that and that's very important. I think some parts of Alan are very similar to me. Um, Alan's very nerdy, and also very smart, but I'm not a nerd, but I'm very smart, like Alan. Um, Alan's just trying to have a good time, you know? I'm trying to have a good time. The character that I most identify with, and that I think is the most underrated character, is Matt. And I think that that's because he's really misunderstood, so I think that he's always second best and I think that that's a really hard feeling to have and I would identify with that and I think it's a lot of people. I think the most important message of the show is that everyone needs to be accepting, accepting of each other and that humans make mistakes and it's okay to make mistakes. Everyone does. And like even the priest in the show, he makes a mistake. Um, need to be forgiving and accepting and love everyone no matter what. In Bear, there are some characters that have problems that they feel like they can't see through. Um, and that was kind of an important thing for me to do in my life, is to be able to, I'm still not really very good at this, but like it's a skill that I know I can get, is like taking a step out of my life and looking at my problems and seeing how can I get through this. Well, I think that one of the really important messages um, of Bear is that um, you know, you should be allowed to speak up for yourself and really voice who you are because it's really important and, you, you know, other people need to know who you are. Also, I think it teaches, like, a lesson about acceptance and that love and acceptance are really things that maybe we don't realize that we need, but then when we are without them, we really feel like there's something missing. We need friends and you need people to go to. We'll listen to you.